Hey guys, welcome back to Toyota Beasley. Super exciting news. Right behind us is the brand new Grand Highlander Platinum all-wheel drive. This is the first time I've looked at it, so this is my true reaction. I think it's beautiful. Brown interior. And of course, it just came off the truck, so still have a couple of the uh, packaging. Look at this. Huge screen. Heated and ventilated seats. Nice middle inf infotation system. Can you see the... See it flashing right there now, of course, in real life it's not flashing with the LED. Uh, heads up display there. See your miles per hour and all that good stuff. I love this. For passengers, you have a charger right there. Nice cubby. Let's check this thing out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This thing's beautiful. It's in our console here. It goes way down in there, too. Divider. Now this is the all-wheel drive, so it is going to have your different terrains, different drive modes. I mean, look at all this room. For your big cups. All right, I like this a lot because I go to work with a um, one of the Yeti 32 ounce cups. And being able to put that in there is awesome. Gosh, I love how far back this goes. Wireless charger. Now this is the Platinum. So there are some things on the Platinum, like of course the 360 bird's eye view. I mean, this thing is just awesome. Gosh, it's super comfortable. Plenty of leg room. I feel like I'm sitting way down in here too. I mean, it feels like a Highlander, but it feels obviously bigger. <laughs> it's the, uh, the Grand Highlander. Got nice cushion right there. All right, let's check out the back. So this is really what is supposed to be the big difference in the Grand Highlander and the regular Highlander, obviously, is the back. All right, so a little spot here. I guess keep falling or something. I don't know. Sit down. All right, the back seat feels nice. Now, this is probably my favorite thing is the Platinum has the heated and the ventilated seats for the back. You got chargers on both sides, which I think is awesome. And, of course, down here, you have a regular wall outlet. This is nice being able to put your phone in here. Drinks, of course. Just like the regular Highlander, you got the shade. All right. Let's test out the third row. So we're going to do probably just that. All right, pretty cool. You got a handle right here. So when you're getting back to the third row, put your hand on that handle. It's so much easier to get in and out. All right. Look at all that headroom. So third row, third row is nice. I do like the third row. There is more room, no doubt. Now, of course, it's up further than it normally is. Um, so this is where you would typically be sitting. Right here is where you'd be sitting with the third row if the seat's all the way back. Let's see. Okay, so still not as big as a large SUV like a Sequoia, but definitely bigger than the regular Highlander. Um, definitely more room back here. You know, I could, I could sit back here for a while. Do I want to do this for a super long trip? Probably not. But if you want a third row to be super comfortable on a long trip, you know, Sequoia is your, your go-to. But, I mean, if I'm driving from Anderson to Greenville and I got the car full of people, I would have no problem sitting back here. I mean, look, headroom, like I said. I'm 5'10", so I'm not the tallest person in the world. But it uh, feels really good. I mean, look at all these... Um, Look at all these charging ports in the back. Here, I got plenty of room for drinks and snacks. As everyone knows, I am a big snack person. Super easy to get in and out. Again, 
Got this right here. All right. And for the grand finale, let's check out the back. Okay. So with the third row up, I mean, guys, there's still plenty of room. I mean, look, a whole arm length worth of stuff. And then when you have it down, just like the regular Highlander, super easy to put down. That's that's awesome. That is awesome. I mean, you're probably looking, I'm not great at measurements, but you're probably looking five feet of room at least right here. Let's check out what's under this. Okay, just like normal, got my jack. Does have the tonneau cover in there. If you wanted to put it in the back, you certainly could. Guys, I love it. I love it. Toyota knocked it out of the park once again. Check out the back though. I think it just looks fantastic. Definitely bigger, definitely more equipment. And honestly, the price difference between all-wheel drive regular Highlander and the all-wheel drive Platinum Grand Highlander, it's only about four grand difference. So not that bad. Love it, guys. Come get it. See ya.